Hello, folks. Welcome back. I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. And you might see me out of character wearing my party shirt because you know what today is, folks. Today is two things. It's Mardi Gras. Yes. And more importantly, it's this guy's birthday. Woo! It's going to be a beer swilling. Woo! Bubble drinking. Woo! Party all night. Woo! With your mother. Woo! Kind of day, folks. So I am all set for Mardi Gras. I'm all set for my birthday. Get a little bit older. And just to celebrate things, folks, we have a special episode. But wait, before I hit that, play the party music! So look at him. Check the flavor of the rhythm I wrote. And while I get a chance here, let me clear my throat. And with that being said, again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. If you want to be like Jay Tay and get your own character, again, if you contact me often enough, if you leave emails, if you leave comments, even if you subscribe more than once, because who knows what YouTube does. Again, if you comment, subscribe, and leave emails, you too will become a character in the Daytona Beach Bonfire League, just like Jay Tay. Again, happy Mardi Gras, everyone! Enjoy the videos. Oh, and did I mention a special mo bonus? There's a cooking with a hobo section. This is where I make my eggnog cheesecake. Because everyone knows what happens tomorrow. Ash Wednesday. Lent starts. And I give up all the yummy stuff. But I wanted to get my cheesecake in when I could. Woo! Have a good party time, everyone. Uh, be safe. Remember, only for those professionals out there. This is not amateur hour, folks. I'll see everyone probably tomorrow or later for my Raw Recap Show. Bye! Hello, folks, and welcome! Wow, you people! What are you doing here? That's why I have my sunscreen on. Here we go. I got it. Look at you. Are you a hooker? My God, go back on the street. Hello, folks. Welcome. Welcome again. There's the police cruiser. Once you see the police cruiser, you know you are in Daytona Beach, Florida, folks. And this is a happy birthday to Hobo Tom. Yes. And Mardi Gras celebration! And here in the Daytona Beach Bump by Lee, we have Corporate Tom. Again, any time that there is a gimmick match to be had, you know he's going to be here to squash the gimmick. He's there yelling at people, telling, telling them to get back to work, be with their loved ones instead of being here. Get off the drugs, kids. Oh! And look at this! Techno Blue Ranger! This guy's a stud! I don't see many of oh, this. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm taking that. Remember, this is an, an Inferno match. Not necessarily something either of these two wrestlers are accustomed to. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Yeah, that social media has been on fire ahead of this one. But now it's time to get down. Spanish fly! Those nice new gold shoes. 
Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Narrowly avoids the attack there. Not this. He's looking at it again. Spanish line number dos. Oh, the big knee stomp. The range of emotions here has started. It's almost an unknowing. That's it. He's out. Look at this. There is absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. What a match! Oh, wait, nice reversal! These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Oh, go after the really knees. pushing his opponent to the limit here. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house had been empty from is it enough to put an end to this one? Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. That's it. He's done. The tension, the drama. This is electric. Look at the back of my arm, Cole. Look at the goosebumps. I love this. That's it. The match is over. Yes. Yes, I told you, people. I told you I had to win. This isn't a holiday. Get back to work. My God. Get back to work. If I'm working, everyone should be working. Yeah. 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 You disgusting, vile people of Daytona Beach. You can all go to hell. How about that? You're not going to work. Go someplace else. Go home, be with your loved ones. Give up the bottle, damn it. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. And you can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight. And tonight's action will have repercussions all across WWE. Oh, you got that right, Cole, but what a night it was. Welcome back, folks. Again, you there see Please Care. Oh, look at this. Yes, you're my princess, Kimberly. You're my princess, Kimberly. Well, oh, I made her pretty good, too. Someone do some. Oh, oh, yeah, I like the hip swivel. Again, this is an extreme princess match. Who's the more extreme princess, Princess Kimberly or Princess Ikochi? We shall find out, folks. Is it Tiara on her head? Da, 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 da. Yep. Passes around. There we go. Yeah, she sounds like royalty. She is my princess. Oh, and she gets the pyro for it. Remember, she was, I think, one of the kind of major champions in Shikara for, for a while there. She did beat Hollow Wicked. Oh, I gotta, she has to drop the spell somehow. As we get ready 
for singles action. I'd like to remind everyone you can see matches like this and more on the WWE Network. We're just moments away from one-on-one -on -one action here. Look at that ass. I believe it. Yeah, that was so long ago. That was two years ago almost. Yeah. I'm just happy she doesn't ask for any royalties. Because there is nothing. Nothing minus zero minus zero equals zero. This is it, the moment we've been waiting for the time for time. Oh, this is an extreme princess rules. Test one another's abilities and will like never before. This is about being the best. Oh, what's this? Oh. Here would have godly put the rest of the Divas locker room on notice. Oh, did she take a shot there? Here she goes, back in the ring now. Yeah, inside the ring, outside the ring, the action's everywhere. These competitors will always be looking to unleash their finishing maneuver, and when that happens, the complexion of the match can change in a heartbeat. You're right about that. The entire... Oh, and did you hear the impact? Oh, crunch shots. Uh oh Looking good so far. Not much damage, if any, has been absorbed. Wow! Uh oh What a shot from that crunch! Oh, he broke the guitar! Looking for the win. This may settle the score right here. Through the El Chico barricade. Oh, into the fans! Uh-oh. They should get their shots after being next to those people. Let's do that on top of her head. A lot of chatter on social media over this Divas match here tonight. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. She, she was like trying to kill her for a second. Wow, this is ridiculous. Those are our notes you're stepping on. This is our worst face here. Oh my gosh. Oh, through the table. Oh, oh my. Oh, wow. That could have been bad. Oh. I don't know how much more of this he can take. Taking quite a beating here. But regardless, we're underway and rolling on another great WWE event. Looking to be in good shape here as it relates to health. What a wild attempt at striking your opponent. I don't know if she could have been further off the mark. <laughs> that was like a haymaker. Like she would have taken that big home run swing. She fell on that table. She's got like the most of that. She fell on the... Back where it belongs. Inside the ring. Yeah, but it was pretty cool watching these guys fight right in front of us, Kate. as fresh as a daisy in there only a small oh. amount of offense delivered so far oh hear the oh 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 wait a minute she's going for it again oh that's gonna put an end to this one she's having a real hard time getting back to her feet Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Oh, well, look out. She missed her target that time. Yeah, I guess you could say she was just a bit off the mark with that one. 
Oh, she missed there. Well, that happened. I don't think she wants to do this on the outside, but maybe she does, Kate. She's pretty rough and tough. She's on the defensive now. By no means is this dire straits for her, though. And you know, uh -oh. it's just amazing to me that this is just another night in the WWE. Always remember, incredible. This has to be it. Quick pin attempt, and she raises her shoulder to interrupt the referee's count. She sure did. We're looking at complete domination here. Narrowly avoids the attack there. She appears to be extra slow regaining her base. Oh, she's back in now. I don't understand the strategy. She was really putting the hurt on outside the ring. What a move! What a smart move! Dodges to the side of that one. between the ropes, and that's a good thing. The action was getting a little too close for comfort out here. Wait a minute, she's going for it again. Like hmm. Oh, well. Looks like another oh. in the wind. tuning into this Divas match. I would never even think of tuning out of a Divas match. Oh! We're running to the stops! Oh, stop how to hurt, folks. Kang, what a treat we have for you. This is Divas action. Woohoo! I love Diva action! It's working! Whoa, into the moonsault! That's gotta be it! Cole, was she winning here? I think so! Wow, that was impressive. Ladies and gentlemen. So I know who the more oh, Mark Steen Princess is now. And here are just a few of the great highlights. Whoa, we should be announced later. Spending above the ring. Wait a second. How do I pay for a helicopter to hold that all the way up there? Well, this is the first of many title defenses tonight. Remember, it's a special show. All titles are always defended. Oh, wait a second. Can you see the police cruiser? You know, in Daytona Beach. How do I just stand up there? Are there cables from those buildings? I'm about to get up by a fishing line.
Oh wait, who can this be? Oh, look at that most dapper man! Wow, from all the interaction! JJ! Look at him! He comes out strutting. Dude, I made him look good this morning, man. So casual he walks. From the whole effing show, we have JT. He's like, whoa, this is what they told the beach is like? They were like soccer balls for turnbuckles. They have like real rope for ropes. Like, am I walking on top of butcher paper? Oh, fireworks. I'm surprised those fireworks don't set. From going on fire and truly to be en fuego. She was underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Oh, she went through the tunnel, through the ladder. As the action progresses, let's briefly talk about the challenger. Ladder coming into play again. This is what makes him so dangerous. Oh, not again. Not again. Avoids the impact there. What a reversal. And he gets out of the way. He's on the defensive now. You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. Well, I don't think at this point that we can count anyone out just yet. Let's just wait and see. But hey, this is what we signed up for, didn't we? Whoa! Oh, what's he going to do to follow that up? Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Oh, my, what a move. <laughs> what the hell? Not a lot of Whoa. left in the step right now. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Okay, what's the best strategy to employ in order to be successful here in a last man standing match? Well, if it's me in there, I'm going after the legs. If your legs aren't working, you can't stand. It's that simple. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. Oh, he broke the ladder. The ladder is broken. You can bet these competitors will do everything in their powers. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Jump. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. Well, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. 
Nice dodge there. Not this. He's looking at it again. This is all J10. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. No, not through another ladder. He's going to kill. Oh. Through another ladder, folks. And the ladder's all set up. No finishing is not moving. The crowd wants, wants more more drugs. I mean blood. Last man standing match. Nobody's leaving this ring as friends. You're right about that, Cole. You definitely think he's got it. Does he have it? Here we go. The title might be coming down right now. Taking it to the top of the ladder may be the easy part. Once you start working on bringing that thing down, you are completely vulnerable. He's almost got it down. He has it. He got oh, Jay Tay is the new, yeah. always underway yeah. champion. How can he kill little Tay G? 69, bro. Whoa. Here are some highlights from the match.
team match. Yeah, let's don't wait any longer. The crowd is ready. I'm ready. Let's go. On your middle stakes here as the title will be on the line here in this one. The Brothers of Destruction taking on the Cuba Connection. Oh well, folks, this should be a good slobber knocker of a match. It's El Sicario and Hijo de Tequila del Sol. Make a statement tonight in the tag team division. Well, you're right there, JBL. Tag team contests in today's WWE are some of the best bouts in sports entertainment. I have a feeling that action is going to be plenty intense in this one. Well, I don't know about you guys, but with a championship title on the line, I'm going to have a hard time sitting still for this one. Quick thinking to avoid that. Look out, look out. This could be it. What are your thoughts on The Undertaker? That's it. He's out. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. What a counter that was! A reversal from the dead man! Avoids the impact there. Oh, it may be time! starting to sweat now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. And you know what? I would have it no other way. How did I afford to get the Undertaker and Kane here? Oh, we're hulking it up a little bit. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Look 
history here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. Well, if you didn't believe in this guy before, there's no reason not to now. Not after that performance. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere. The last woman standing there. That was an amazing touch in that. Then she takes the bra off without taking her top off. I don't want to know her secret secret to doing that. That's impressive, folks. Last woman standing match, too. Is it enough to put an end to this one? Let's take a moment to talk about the challenger. What a wild attempt at striking your opponent. I don't know if she could have been further off the mark. <laughs> that was like a heck. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, she's back in now. I don't understand the strategy. She was really putting the hurt on outside the ring. Great time's over. And here we go again. And we're on the move again. The challenger's taking on some offense. Yet another one for the highlight reel. Oh, uh, look out. She missed her target that time. Yeah, I guess you could say she was just a bit off the mark with that one. Oh man, this is getting out of hand. Just let the ref count. Oh wait, nice reversal. What a wild attempt at striking your opponent. I don't know if she could have been further off the mark. <laughs> that was like a haymaker. Like she was taking that big home run swing. Oh come on, let the ref do his job. Haven't you done enough? Oh, the arm breaker. Sexy, powerful. WWE, right? Time's over. And here we go again. Apparently, it'll take a lot more to end this match. 
Back in the ring again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys. She's on a roll now. Hey! Hold on! We're not the whole man! This is getting up and we're on the move again. Right time's over. And here we go again. Hey! What the hold on? We're not done yet! You gotta like this aggression. In this situation, you want to ensure your opponent can't get up by the count of ten. It's matches like this one that make Divas matches can't miss television. Quick thinking to avoid that. Ooh, one of the most effective moves in all of WWE. Each time the official counts in this match, he gets closer and closer to that final ten. And we're on the move again. Right time's over. And here we go again. Oh no. We know what this is.
I think if I ever saw them in a tag team. Actually, I think I did see them as a tag team. It's underway. Man, it sounds like the lid is about to be blown off this place with these great counter. Oh, the hate drop! The hate drop! The hate drop! He's just stomping. He just stomped him. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Good lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. You tag him in, he, he's gonna get his whooping next. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent up frustration tonight. Ugh. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house had been empty for months. Right in front of your partner. Great match here. Oh. If you any of the matches from this week, go to www.com to catch up on all the action. I go to www.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Oh, looking to make a statement here. That's it. He's done. fancy about that match folks. That was just uh, it was called a weapon. Here are your winners and the crew. Wow. 
I hate contest. you. Definitely just witnessed one for the ages. I'll remember that one for a long time. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match. Yeah, I remember, I didn't have that help copied in. But a Coast Guard costs money for some reason. The green smoke. Oh, he transforms. Broken Tom. He's a pimp kid on. Fat gut hangs over the belt. Yeah, that sounds about right. Especially after I had all the cheeseburgers tonight. Oh, and Cream back from the dead! Yes! Yes, it's not a celebration without this guy. It's the Macho King! The macho of all men! The Macho Man! Randy! One, how did I get him back from the dead? Two, how did I get him to come to Daytona Beach? And three, how did he ever agree to go in a hell in a cell? You might do the macho elbow from the top of it. So, why do you kind of sick? It's always all taped up. That's like prime savage. That's prime macho man savage. From Michigan, in, he is the Gold Coast Classic Grand Prix Professional Wrestling Champion, the Living Legend. <laughs> This match with tidal waves and momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. Well, in these head to head matchups, you've got no one to rely on by yourself, and that's the way it should be. Oh, this one's gonna be good. One of these guys is about to leave with the gold. Which one will it be? We're gonna find out right now. But regardless, the show has begun. As the action progresses, let's briefly talk about the challenger.
the championship at stake. You know these superstars will get everything they have to win here tonight. Oh, that goes without saying, Cole. The WWE Championship is what it's all about here in the WWE. Every superstar wants to be the champion, and tonight's match is no exception. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, he goes with that one? Nice dodge there. Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Right now, the momentum is with Randy Savage, and who knows when it will stop. Look out. Oh, 
Oh. First man up has a very distinct advantage. Who's still alive? Both men could be dead. They both fell through the top of the steel cage. The Macho Man, of course, not as serendipitous. With a championship at stake, you know these superstars will get everything they have to win here tonight. Oh, that goes without saying, Cole. What a counter that was! Welcome again to a cooking with Hobo Tom in the Hobo's Kitchen. 
I'd like, to, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Again, happy Mardi Gras, everyone. Um, to celebrate Mardi Gras, kind of, I always like to do something special. I'm going to make a little cheesecake. However, it's going to be something special. It's going to be a little eggnog cheesecake, and I'm going to use my new little toy I got to over... Ooh, excuse me. Over the break. There we go. Let's try and set this up here. So, um, I kind of looked on uh, stuff online. I have no idea how to make a cheesecake from scratch. Therefore, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit. Notice over here, we have an Oreo pie crust. So it's going to be a little bit different. And the first thing I'm going to do, I go to the other said oven. Turn that to 375, put that on. There's a reason why I have the pie crust in the pan. I just want to cook this a little bit because it's not necessarily crunchy. Just going to put that into one and let that cook just a little bit. And you'll see why I put it in that pan shortly. So I have kind of basic ingredients on my cheesecake, some cheesecake mix. And of course it's an eggnog cheesecake because I only use up the last of my booze. Because only in a few days Lent starts and... No more yummy, delicious alcohol for me. So I want to use up as much as I can, or at least justify pouring a good chunk of it down the drain. So I've actually made some cookies, some eggnog cookies over there, which are actually really good. Forgot to make a video about those, because those were even simpler. Here you have your kind of basic mixer. Um, it has to soften up cream cheese. I've let this stuff sit for a couple minutes. And I like to make this a little extra creamy. Again, I'm putting in eggnog, so we'll see how this goes. I always like to do first, I think I made cheesecake once before. I made a bourbon cheesecake for a hurricane party. And that actually turned out really good. I figured out how to open stuff. Knives are so useful. So again, you take your 8 ounces. I'm going to use 24 ounces of cream cheese. I have no idea how big that pie shell is. You can see, just take that. Oh, dump that in there. Probably should have switched attachments. That's okay. Oh, there we go. One block. Blocking my second block open. <laughs> As you can hear in the background, it's Sunday. I just finished having my breakfast. So it's Steve here and Larson. Second block. Again, the, the directions call for just two. I'm going to push the limits because I have absolutely no idea how it's going to turn out. I want this to be super cheesecakey feeling. I think it says if you want to do it one way, do it one way if not. Because I'm not using any butter, which I'm not using. So, I'm just going to add straight cream cheese in there and I'm going to let this machine do its magic and I'll tell you what I used it to make cookies and oh my gosh which is so much easier to use than, than an old fashioned hand blender. I'm going to have to use this a little bit too for when I make my chicken and fresco pizza. For my birthday in Mardi Gras. And very basic operations. Huh. Lock. It's kind of neat to have a little lock mechanism over there. I just want to stir that around. Moving faster, slower. There we go. I don't want it to go too crazy. I just want to kind of whip it a little bit. 
And then you don't want so many air bubbles. So now, I always like to put the dry ingredients in first. I've never made instant, I think I made the instant, yeah, I have made instant cheesecake once before. So it's kind of easy. Cheesecake mix, let's see it. Let's open a little bit better. Oops. That's a good mix. Then, always remember to clean up after yourself. What I like to do, I just like to clean up right away from the lazy. That one smells good. Why am I always so amazed when stuff smells good? So you can kind of see... Cake dough forming a little bit. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's just easier if I do it this way. Oh, look at that! I was doing it the wrong way as usual. Secret ingredient. As you can tell, let me show you. Getting nice and creamy there. That has a really good cheesecake smell. I'm gonna flavor this, so I take some eggnog. You don't want it super moist, but you want enough. Kind of coat stuff, so that's actually a pretty good use of eggnog. I'm impressed. Now I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to alternate speeds because you want to get a little bit of everything around. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Again, you can see it go. Speed up, you can see it kind of flip around. So there we go, get a nice huge flop off. You can soak up all that delicious goodness there. actually a lot more easy to put in the pan. And then you can see how much better that looks. So that's pretty cool. It's going kind of nice and smooth. That's actually really nice and smooth looking too. So I'm going to stop that. So that's actually pretty good looking. And let's see here. So let me kind of... Should take a look at that. That can now be. Bye! That was a good justification of the use of kind of eggnog in the holidays. I like to use up the eggnog kind of right before Lent starts because at least this way I use it up because I get the better quality eggnog so it doesn't necessarily hold as long because it's actually real. So I'm going to pull out the pie crust I had kind of part baking. I want it just to be a little bit more solid. Yeah, that. So now I'm going to go over and grab a pot warmer. Oh, my cat's food. So I want to protect my countertop a little bit. I have a nice, good, clean semi-clean working area. Again, batter spreader, very important. Again, be careful because that pan is going to be hot. And again, I'll show you why. It's there, so I'm going to put that there. See, this is just going to take a little bit more coordination than what I have. So I want to unlock that 
I can take this off. And you're going to get messy. That's the way it is. Kind of push everything through. So all of the cheesecake batter. It's actually in the in the area. And if I made too much, I can kind of live with that. That. This piece goes in the dishwasher. It has to be cleaned off. Yep, fine there. And I think you can do this a couple different ways. I'm just going to use a spoon and start to spoon the filling in. I do want to keep that cake stir there though. Just in case. Actually, the neat thing about this, I can just go whoop. Put that down. Unlock the base. So you can see that. Pie crust, very simply. I think the nice thing about that, kind of blended everything together. So really, I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to get it all towards the end. And kind of see what I'm doing almost. Just kind of awkward because Stainless steel is a little bit slippery. So, yep, there it goes. So that's the majority of it. You want to get as much as you can and in. You can tell I've mixed it up well enough where there's no real liquid part, which is always good. Oh, it's terrible to see like liquid stuff like just sitting there. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna put that down. I think there was a reason why I did something. Put that down up oh, over there. Use spatula. Both. I'm just gonna kind of press this very gently into the cookie crust. You want to get it nice, nice and even as you can. Um, I'm sure people who actually do baking, uh, I guess it's okay if you get some cookie crust in it and it's all going to go, it all goes in the same hole and out the same hole, so. And as much as you can, because this is going to be a really super creamy cheesecake too. Oops, wrong place for the camera. Down there for a moment. Clean that because that's actually not too bad. You know, I think that was smart of me to use the two cheesecake packages and the three bars of cream cheese because I didn't realize how big this, this pie crust was. I didn't feel like making my own. I mean, if you're a lot more creative, you can definitely make your own. And graham cracker is kind of a classic one. I just figured this would be something different. Let's see if I can get as much. Out of said as I can, and that actually turned out to be a lot better than I thought. I'm somewhat impressed. So that's actually really good, so that's gonna soak for a little bit. Up there, I'm gonna put on a hot glove because I actually left this kind of hot still. You can go in there, be washed. There's my hot glove. I have my hot glove here somewhere. Just kind of smooth it out. Fun as much as you can. The reason why I'm wearing this is because I kind of pre-bake the crust a little bit and there's going to be some kind of crusty parts there. I am chef I am not, but I'm getting to be a lot better at things. I just want to kind of smooth things out. Oops. There will be parts that break.
Again, people do use a spreader for this. I don't have a spreader. This is the closest thing I have to it. For me, uh, parts of it are okay. Parts, I'll just say I got some of the cookie crust. It's in when I try to spread it. Trust me, if you really like cheesecake, I doubt anyone's going to really complain. Free cheesecake? Oh, heck yeah. Oh my! I'm gonna kind of fill this in. And so that's actually pretty good looking. Let me go up there. There you have it. So I know, I know, everyone says it's not going to be perfect looking, and they, what do you use in the pan? The key to cheesecake, I have the oven set for 375, so what you want to do, in order, that's not that hot, that's good, in order to keep it from cracking, I saw this kind of hack online when I started learning about making cheesecakes, you want to make a steam pan. So you want it to steam up, and in order to do that, you kind of let it cook slowly, and you just put water in the pan. That's going to create a steam bath. So with that steam, that's going to stop the cheesecake itself from kind of splitting and cracking and, and becoming a whole mess. And remember. Because it's a solid piece of aluminum, you can kind of see the water there. It's not perfect, but you know what? No one's going to care. So it's pretty close. So now, just need this. I'll put this very gently and succinctly as I can into the oven. Oops. Oh, you spill some water. As long as you don't get any water in the cheesecake, it should be fine. So that goes in, and that's going to cook for, let's see, let's read the directions, there's that, let's see, your directions say, You have to cook it really for just about 20 minutes because you want that to set. And you chill, cover and chill for two hours. That sounds cool. So we'll come back and see what this looks like in about 20 minutes, half hour. Hey, I'll be back. Okay, folks, um, I kind of want to sit just a little bit longer. Let's see it looks pretty good, though. Uh, the thing is, it passed the toothpick test. Really, just the top, there's no real obvious cracks in it. You can see it puffed up a little bit. That's a pretty darn fine looking cheesecake. Remember, it's going to kind of caramelize a little bit. I think that was because of the eggnog, all the sugars there. I mean, it's not horrible. So, you know what? Hey, free cheesecake. Again, thank everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Mardi Gras Festival. I'll see everyone later. Bye. Has been the required two hours of chill time. Look at that. I cut a near perfect slice of cheesecake and oh my god was it good. Whatever it is I did right, I think it caramelized a little bit on top mainly because of the eggnog. But you can see it's actually nice, rich and creamy. A little crust to it, a little Oreo cookie crumb. Someone at work is going to be very happy. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Yes! Happy Mardi Gras! Bye!